Hello there! I'm the Dragonator, and I like fairy tales. Today, it is Christmas. It's Christmas! I love, love, love Christmas! There was this one tale that I remember watching growing up. Well, I say watching because it was adapted by a particular corporate rat. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. The movie that adapted this story was released in the 90s. I would watch this movie every single year. It consisted of three short stories. One of these stories was The Gift of the Magi by O. Henry. I had no idea that it was an adaptation until ninth grade. So here's how it goes. Once upon a time, there was a couple. They were young, they were in love, but they were also poor, not broke, poor. With only a dollar eighty-seven, Della, Jim's wife, didn't know what in the whole wide world to give to him. She knew he would want a chain for his watch, one passed down for generations, and very valuable. Similarly, she valued her long brown hair. Then she had an idea, one that could make her husband very happy. Della went to a place that sold wigs and ended up getting her hair sold for $20. This was just enough for a new chain. When she looked in the mirror when she went back home, she saw how short her hair looked. But while she was disappointed, she felt she had to do it. It was so Jim could have a good Christmas. Jim came back home, and when he saw Della, he gave her a face that she could not read. He was Dumb struck by the fact she got her hair and sold it for a Christmas present. The reason why was because of his gift to her. A set of combs. It's all fine because her hair can grow back. He opened his present and saw that in order to use it, he'd have to save up for a new watch because he sold his heirloom for the combs. I don't know how else to end it. So I'll let the actual short story finish it for me. The Magi, as you know, were wise men, wonderfully wise men, who brought gifts to the babe in the manger. They invented the art of giving Christmas presents. Being wise, their gifts were no doubt wise ones, possibly bearing the privilege of exchange in case of duplication. And here, I have lamely related to you the uneventful chronicle of two foolish children in a flat who most unwisely sacrificed for each other the greatest treasures of their house. But in a last word to the wise of these days, let it be said that all who give gifts, these two were the wisest, of all who give and receive gifts, such as they were the wisest. Everywhere they are wisest. They are the Magi. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon. Bye.